In this video, we're going to be drawing a ray diagram for a plane mirror. So let's set up a scenario. In this scenario, what we're going to be doing is taking an incident ray and drawing it at 30 degrees to the normal, and then we're going to be drawing the reflected ray which bounces off that plane mirror. So let's start by drawing the template as we saw in an earlier video in the course. So to draw the template, basically what we're going to do is start off by drawing our mirror. Now our mirror is going to consist of a horizontal straight line. So there's our horizontal straight line and we're going to label it mirror and then alongside I'm going to put some hatch lines to show that it's a solid background so nothing can pass through. Next thing I need to do is to use my protractor to draw in the normal. Now remember the normal is an imaginary line which is placed 90 degrees to the boundary surface of the mirror. So I mark off 90 degrees with my protractor and then draw a hatch line which basically denotes that it's an, an invisible line and I'll label this normal. Okay, so let's put the information onto our graph. Alright, so I know that basically I've got an incident ray coming in at 30 degrees to this normal line. So I use my protractor and I measure 30 degrees from the normal. Remember it's important that we go to the normal or from the normal. So 10, 20, 30, put a dot, and then I'm going to join this dot up to the center point where the normal meets the boundary surface. I put an arrow to show the, the direction the light's coming in, and I'm going to label it. So it's an incident ray, and it's going to be 30 degrees to the normal. Excellent. So now I'm going to draw its reflected ray. So I put my protractor on and I measure 30 degrees. So here I am measuring the 30 degrees. Hang on, that's not to the normal. So we've got to go from the normal. That's it, that's better. Okay, so I go from the normal and I draw in my 30 degrees. I draw my line. Put my arrow in to show the direction that's bouncing off. Put in my angle, 30 degrees, and state that it's a reflected ray. Remembering that the law of reflection states incident ray equals the reflected ray. <laughs>